Okay, let's get to polishing. Uh, we've had this guy in the ultrasonic. Clean up all the crap. Now we need to use some Brasso. And we are using Brasso because Drill Sergeant says use Brasso. That's it. Doesn't matter what else it is. Drill Sergeant says use Brasso on brass. And that is what we're going to do. I've got Brasso on this towel. I've got a toothbrush. And I'm going to go ahead and start scrubbing with the Brasso. And that is basically how you do it. Now I have this guy with the proper polishing metal brush on here. Okay, We'll use that for spots that are really, really bad. Then we'll go back with the Brasso. And you'll see there are spots on here that are bad. And they're mainly they're from soldering when it was built. And there's some discoloration. Now, we don't have to get all that discoloration off. We're going to get some of it. We aren't going to get all of it. I'm not taking the handrails off. They're just going to get polished. We'll get in here with the toothbrush as much as we can. I don't really want to take the tread and the frame off. If I have to, I will, but I think we can do this without taking, without unsoldering everything and taking it all apart. We can get this guy in good good enough shape because we're going to paint it. Remember that? We're going to paint it. So as long as it's clean, we're not going to really worry about that tarnish and stuff. It's going to be under paint. And if I ever change my mind, I'll just toss it back in the ultrasonic cleaner, take the paint off of it, and redo it. And that's how you polish brass. Okay, now there's one more trick, which we'll get to in a second here. One other thing you should know. So, when you're done polishing with brass oak, um, you need to wash it. And you wash it in cold water, because that is what you do. Okay, don't ask why, that's what you do. Cold water, dish soap, finish off the shine, and it will finish it off nicely. Okay, and the brasso's going to work. We want to let the brasso do as much work as we can, so we're not putting a ton of elbow grease in here, which we don't need to do. We'll let the brasso do its job. We will try to get in here and scrub. We'll scrub it. And, and because the ultrasonic has already cleaned it, it is clean. There's discoloration. We can live with that discoloration. We are painting, remember? Painting. We ain't preserving it. If we were preserving it, we would take everything off and I wouldn't be using Brasso so much. I'd use a little bit, but I would be using rubbing compound. Right? If I wanted a super smooth glass finish on this, and I was going to clear coat it when I was done, so it could never tarnish again, I would go ahead and use rubbing compound. Not only that, when I was done, I would polish it with a piece of leather. I wanted to get the super, like, totally glass finish, which can be done, believe me. I was in the army for long enough to polish brass. You want to get a glass finish on here, you can do it. I'm not doing that. I ain't preserving this. I told you before, I'm not collecting it. I am going to run it. And that's how it's going to go. And brass was doing a really nice job right now. It's doing a great job. I don't know if I really want to polish the inside. Maybe I'll just hit a little bit. Since I'm, since I'm washing it when I'm done, I can hit the inside a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not really, I'm not going to paint the inside. I'm not even sure if I'm going to... I might, I might hit the underside with some Rust-Oleum, 
brown camouflage paint, one of my favorite colors for railroads. Does a really good job. Um, just pour it on a rag here. Okay. Let's get it on here. It might get thick. Not a problem. Yeah, and some of it's going to be shinier than the other parts. We don't care about that. Let's get it. The, the number one goal is to get it clean. Not to make it... I'm mean, putting this on a shelf. All brassoed up and, and mirror finish and all that. No, that's not what we're doing. That's not our goal. Our goal is to prepare for paint. So let's get... Let's get some of the discoloration off of it, which we are doing nicely. Okay, now I see some spots where I want to hit it. Okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to hit it. There's a bunch of discoloration here on the solder gun. Okay. We want our cab roof to be nice and shiny, so we're going to hit that guy a little bit. Oh no, you're going to leave tool marks on it. Listen. If I was to enter an ES in a museum as a brass model, I might care about tool marks. But since I know that I'm going to be primering it, I don't care. My tool marks with this brush are not so bad that the primer won't take care of it, because it will. Okay, there's some spots that I just want to clean up. I want to clean up around some details. And so don't freak out about about tool marks. If you are a collector of brass then you might worry about tool marks. If you collect brass for the sake of making a brass, okay, it's a different story, but I don't. This this locomotive is going to be running. It is 100% going to be fully operational and not just some piece for the shelf. I don't have a shelf. I don't keep models on the shelf. I run them. No point in having them if you don't run them. You collect them, you would use rubbing compound doing what I'm doing right now. Rubbing compound makes it nice and smooth glass like finish. Not my goal. And that the discoloration doesn't matter that much. Because when I go and paint this, that discoloration will only, it might turn out to add a little effect. Might add some effects to this, which might be cool effects. But it's not a problem. Alright, that's about all I need to do. Get some more. I didn't get way down in here where below the handrails too much but it doesn't it's not gonna matter it's okay we're gonna live you're gonna make it you will survive this you're a brass collector I would consider this probably one of the first steps in restoring your old brass is doing this even with the wire wheel you want to get down in there and you want to get stuff broke up so that the brassel can do its work. And that's where it should be. If you are putting a ton of elbow grease into this, you are wrong. 
You did not read the instructions and you didn't follow the instructions. Now your elbow grease in, in brass restoration should be reserved for the rubbing compound and the wipe and the polishing with a piece of leather. When you get your super smooth finish, you will go back with a piece of leather and polish it more. We're not doing that. We want this. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to take this with us. And we're going to go ahead and go over here to the sink. Let's go to the sink. Okay. Let's go to the sink. All right. Sink. Yes. Okay, set up so you can see what I'm going to do. Cold water. Number one. Cold water. Okay. I got the cold water on. Get some of this stuff off my brush. I'm using a soft brush. Okay. Let's go ahead and dish so tons of it. It's alright. We're going to scrub it. We're going to dish soap it. Okay. And no, not all of it is going to be perfect. But we, that's, again, not our goal. Our goal is to be prepared to paint. Okay. Remember, it's cold water. Why? Why are we using cold water? Because drill sergeants said use cold water when you polish brass. That's it. That's why. Don't ask why. Doesn't matter what the reason is. Drill sergeant said you use cold water. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, cold water in your soap. This particular model is going to have a lot of discolorations here and there. It just is. Can I take this down farther and get in there? Yep, I sure can. I can take these handrails off and I can get in there. I can put in the ultrasonic. I can 100% take this thing to a mirror finish if I, if I want to, but I don't want to because I'm painting. Let's just make sure. It's scrubbing. It's going to be totally acceptable. As long as I don't forget where I got all the brass off, it's going to be 100% acceptable. If we didn't, we don't want to get to the inside. Okay. Get all the brass out of here. Yeah, that water is freezing cold now. Okay. Let's go ahead. Take this over to the air compressor. Not terrible. Air compressor. And let's go ahead. All right. Air compressor.
like it. Okay, air compressor off. Got the big fan pointed right at it. Any residual amount of drying needs to be done. We'll now be done right here. 10 minutes should be for sure dry. We'll check to see if there's any residue from the brass. Otherwise, we are going to move on. That is how to polish brass for painting. That is not how to polish brass for preservation. But right now, we got a pretty good job done.